Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How you guys are doing? Mention in the comment section what is the status of interviews that you are appearing? Are they getting you know finalized or you know they are leaving in the middle? There is a mixed talk that I am getting from the you know many of them, so I wanted to know personally from you. Do comment it. And in today's video, we are going to discuss uh, important questions that were asked in July T. Okay, so let us thank a subscriber who has shared us these questions and, you know, please share your experiences and you know, questions so that it can help others who are also in this journey. And while doing so, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. The first question was, what are the different connection options available in Tableau? So this we know, you know, we can connect this as live, we can connect it as X time. So this was a very pretty uh, basic uh, question to start with next one was again uh, a basic question explain the process of creating a calculated field now here what we you know why do we actually have to create a calculated field can you you know try and tell me you know why do we actually need to create a calculated field so see not all the metrics can be created in your db itself or you know not everything that we want from business perspective, we can get directly from the table. So we want to derive some metrics. We want to create some, you know, a calculated fields or we want to create some variables. So to solve those kind of a situations, we have an option called as a calculated fields. So they allow us, they allow us to to create variables according to the business needs. So how can we do that? You can click on this arrow mark and you can click on create calculated field. And again, I think here also under analysis, you have an option called as a create calculated field, the second option. Or you can also click on any dimension or measure, click on that and you can go to create. And from there also, you can create your calculated field. So there are multiple ways or multiple options you can use to create a calculated field. Next is how do you uh, optimize performance in Tableau dashboards? Now this we have discussed you know many times, like say we want a, a integer, we want to work with only limited data that we need. We want to hide and also better I thought, you know, I'll share you uh, what they called the document that Tableau has recommended. So I encourage all of you or I recommend you read this article, you know, at least once so that you understand what are the, you know, points that they are trying to mention. Now, same way you can try to explain it in the interview. It will be very easy. So the, you know, this point we already discussed, like say the cleaner the data, better it matches with the structure, the faster your workbook will be, which means see how much of your data is ready. Suppose I'm getting you know 10 fields from my table and those are the 10 fields that I'm going to use it in my dashboard, that's it. Then what is the use case in this? You're not creating anything new. So whatever is coming from the database, you're directly using it, which it is very clean and very optimized. No, you are getting only five metrics, but you are creating 20 metrics on top of that because you could not create or you don't want to create at a DB level. Then that is something that Tableau has to perform that task. So, we have to ensure how our data is the cleaner, the better. Okay. X stacks are always quick compared to in life. We all know. So if you don't need any real time data, you can always switch back to extracts that will, you know, increase the performance of your uh, dashboards. So, and third important point, majority of the dashboards are slow because of the poor design. Now, whenever we are trying to communicate uh, with respect to performance, we all always need to keep what are the standard uh, recommendations set by Tableau when we are creating a dashboard. So that we can always communicate it to client to effectively improvise our performance. Okay. Uh, and then we can decide. So let's say too many charts on a single dashboard will automatically, you know, slow down or trying to show too much of data at once, you know, like say, you always try to follow this rule, keep it simple, don't make it complex. The more complex you're trying to make it, the more, you know, uh, ineffective dashboard you're trying to create. So keep it simple, you know, simple is always best. Next important point is don't work with the data that you know don't need. So this was one of the very frequent or common problems that I have seen 
Now, though we might not be working on some data, like say historical data you have on your database, but we don't need it, right? So in case you don't need and you're not working on that, so you can try to eliminate that. So this is some analysis that we want to do from development perspective and in a requirement perspective and based on based on that you can take the calls like say how much of data i can eliminate and all so by doing that the lesser the data the better it is so again uh, while reducing the data make sure filters effectively like say I, I will if at all i want to eliminate the data i will use you know data source filters to effectively you know remove that or i might do it at a custom sql uh, level only to eliminate the data so this is something that you need to keep in mind you know whenever you are trying to limit your data strings and dates are always slow numbers and booleans are always fast so when you when you are trying to create a calculated field see do you really need a string calculation or you know and all so see if you can you know implement the same using integer parameters are there you can you can you can always leverage the concept of integer parameters than string parameters right so that way you can increase uh, effectively increase or optimize so these are some you know ways that we have available that we can use we can also use a uh, workbook uh, optimizer option that is there in server and based on that you, when you select that you will get some options based on that you can take you no know, actions whatever you want okay so i will just paste this uh, link in the description box whenever you get a time maybe you can go through it it is very important for us to know from developers perspective so once you know uh, this you can answer it in multiple interviews because this one question always comes in every other interview okay so like you know so far i think if i have created you know 10 videos you will find these questions in at least three to four uh, you know videos that has there okay so that much is important so we can you know spend some time on this next is you know describe the steps involved in blending data in tableau now this is one question that is being frequently asked especially in 2024 you know i think i have seen uh last uh, like four to five there is one question on blending so again i'll share this link that is there on your on blending maybe you can uh, go through that so again say we all know that when when will blending come into picture right so blending comes into picture when we are trying to bring the data from a different data source one i have uh, a database and another one is of a text file these are two different uh, data sources right so when i'm trying to bring in that is when my blends will happen with the data right so when you are blending what is the minimum rule we need to have a uh, one common field so that you can establish a relationship that we need to know and then so all of that detail points are available so whatever the you know first data source that you use that will become your primary data source and the remaining will become a secondary data source okay and it typically you know works as your left to join okay so that point you need to remember so this is, these are some of the basic points that we need to understand from a blending perspective and how the aggregation happens before or after so like say we we do want to understand a different between uh, difference between you know how join and blend works right so it's a very lengthy article do comment it in the comment section if at all you want me to create a summarized version of that i can definitely go ahead and create it for you so that is one thing uh, from blending perspective i'll share this so these are two takeaways for you please you know go through this article and blending article and do comment in the comment section i'll you know definitely would love to create a, a blending video for you guys so what are tableau extracts how are they different from live connections so again very pretty you know basic questions so like say i'm seeing five questions here okay so of these five questions this two might require some learning like say we want to we have to read and then we have to explain but i think you have to score full marks in the remaining three questions here because these are easy questions and we don't want to miss this kind of questions extracts are what they are a copy of data taken at a particular time like say i am scheduling my extract to run at a at uh, 8 pm or an 8 am so every day 8 am whatever the data is there in your data source 
it will be copied and it will be reflected on your dashboard or it will be created and extract like that. Whereas life is a real time data. So it will always or continuously or constantly will keep checking if there are any new records and all and based on that we will try to bring in the new records. Now again, like I said, you based on your business expectation, based on how frequently your data is getting updated or based on the nature of the business or based on you know what client wants and you can consider whether you want your dashboards to be connected as live or extracts okay so extracts are a copy of data taken at a particular time whereas live connection is a, a real-time connection to your database okay explain the concept of tableau bookmarks and how they are used now if there is any worksheet that you are frequently using you want to use it again and again so how we can use the concept of bookmark same like you know i uh, suppose in web if we go and bookmark and something you know we suppose i want to bookmark this so we simply will click on this and this will add, get added to this as a bookmark tab right because we want to visit to that page frequently same like this if at all you want to use this worksheet frequently then you can go to this window option and there is an option called as a bookmark. So when you click on this create bookmark, it will create under your repository under bookmarks folder and you can use it or you can share it. But remember one point whenever you create a bookmark, uh, the, that bookmark file will not get auto updated every time. So you have to manually update again. So that is one thing that you need to keep in mind about the bookmarks here. Okay, again, how can you implement role level security in Tableau? There are multiple ways we can do it. We can use it using file approach. We can use it using database approach. We can use it uh, using uh, create user filter option. You will see here under this create user filter option and under field, you can manually uh, provide security to the data. So again, I'll paste the link of that. I think that is one must watch video for any taboo developer okay so i'll be uh, pasting link i'll just make a note here and then what is the role of tableau server and tableau online in an organization see server is a very important space for every organization right so we will be creating a number of dashboards like us there will be a, a number of teams in an organization who are creating dashboards they need that space so that they can publish the dashboard so that end users can use the report uh, and see what we have uh, you know, developed and you know use that insights for their uh, purpose. So that is where the role of Tableau Server comes in to maintain the reports, to take, uh, you know, to serve users, you know, so that they can use and make decisions and all. So Tableau Server is a very important space, okay? So we are developing dashboards, but imagine, you know, we don't have any space to publish the server, then whatever the, you know, the dashboards you have created will not reach users because we cannot share this Tableau workbook with them user directly right so if there are 100 users you cannot share 100 uh, you know workbook to 100 of them right so again 100 might use this dashboard in a different way so you need to remember this so tableau server is very important so what are the different types of charts available in tableau when would you use each so again if i go to show me there are different you know charts that are available here so based on number of dimensions and measures you are selecting, there might be different chart types that get enabled. So you need to know all of them. So whenever you have timestamp, we will go with the uh, you know, line chart and all when we have uh, geo dimensional data, we will go with maps and all like that. Okay. So do learn about this. So there are 24 charts under show me, you need to know all of that. Okay, and apart from this, there are many charts that we can create. So you need to be you know, aware of that. So that is again, a pretty basic question. You know, how do you handle large data sets in Tableau to ensure efficient uh, performance? Okay, so handle large data sets means, you know, we can convert that into X, uh, what you call extracts. We can use aggregated data sets. Uh, 
sets or summary data sets now that will again be effective we can avoid cross tab reports to make it again effective okay we can try to limit the data again that is that will make your dashboard effective so these are some of the things that i feel will improve the performance other than that if you have something you can definitely you know mention in the comment section so that it can help others who are you know preparing how how do you handle geographic data visualization describe mapping capabilities in tableau so see like like i just said whenever we have uh, uh, data that is related to your uh, geographical data type or which has latitude and longitude information we can use with we can use maps so to customize that under maps we have geocoding option you know we can use different layers here based on what are the points that we are adding and we can use it effectively so this you can talk about all of these options whenever you are getting uh, this type of questions okay explain the concept of parameter in tableau how are they used in creating dynamic dashboards so parameter is something that will allow us to pass a value at a runtime so we can use parameter to either filter a value we can use a parameter either to interact with the dashboard or we can use a parameter to pass an action so you can use it for different purposes okay so there are many scenarios on parameters that we have already created we have already you know discussed but do practice that i can try to i'll try to paste the link of uh, this as well in the youtube description maybe you can go and watch that it is very important again what are the best practices for designing effective dashboards again for that we might need to read an article i was i i think i opened somewhere here but i will share uh, i'll share the link for this uh, somewhere uh, i lost it okay again describe the process of creating and publishing uh, tableau workbooks to tableau server or online so this is uh, basically what is the process that you are following in in your organization like say i am creating a dashboard so we can talk about you know first step connect to data source creating calculations validations and then dashboards again step 3 test your dashboard publish or move your report to server so this is something that we can follow per to create tableau reports and or okay so how do you integrate tableau with other tools provide an integrate uh, example of integrations you have worked on see sometimes we might need to you know connect it a third party to tableau a third party tool to tableau and bring in the insights so for that i think we can go to help here and uh, there should be an options under settings and performance and you have an option called as manage analytics extension so from here you can specify like say i have already installed r in my system so it is identifying so likewise you can establish uh, to python like say if at all you want to connect to python you need you need a tap by so again that you can do it under help settings and performance manage analytic extension and you can do that okay so likewise that is how you can integrate and work okay so these are the important questions that were asked in delight you know do let me know if at all you have any questions or concerns in the comment section you know see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day